In this how to, we are going to learn how to specify the tooltip for ASP.NET Server Control. In order to specify tooltip for ASP.NET Server Control, we can uh, we can set the tooltip property of those controls. Let's see this with an uh, example here. Let me copy paste the code. Again, I am copying and pasting to save the time. So here is my code. I am formatting the code. And in this, you can see that my first text box has a tooltip property please enter search keyword okay now let's run this page when I will run this page you will notice that the first text box when I will mouse over on first text box I will get the tooltip please enter search keyword but because the second text box doesn't have tooltip so I will not get any tooltip I am mouse overing but I am not getting the any tooltip and for the first text box I will as soon as I will mouse over I will get the tooltip. So tooltip basically helps the user to enter the kind of data that want you want them to enter. So uh, here I wanted a user to enter the search keyword so that's uh, so I have written tooltip as a please enter search keyword. The next how to is how to specify a default button on the page so that when user hits the enter key that button gets clicked okay so in order to do that now let us copy paste the source code so here is my source code I am copying and pasting now in this uh, source code what we have is that we have notice that I have copy uh, in this code snippet we have the form element also so in order to uh, no, specify the default button what we need to do is that we need to set the default button property of the form element to the button ID so in this case I want my fifth button to be the default button so that when user hits uh, uh, the enter key on the page this button 5 will get clicked and that event will fire so in um, so in this case what we are doing is the, that on click of every button we have a specified submit data server side uh, method to fire but my command name is different for first button we have command name 1 for second command name 2 and so on and on the fifth button we have command name as command 5 now what will happen is that when I will go to the server, uh, server, uh, server side code behind we again need to naturally copy paste some code from here so let us copy paste and here what I'm doing is that in my submit data method I am unboxing the sender to the button object and then I am writing the command name now my expectation is, my expectation is that when a user will hit the submit button the fifth button should get clicked and when the fifth button will get clicked the submit data event will fire and its command name is 5 so on the page this command 5 should be should get written let's see this with example here so here's my demo now I have some text boxes here and I'm not doing anything I'm just uh, pressing enter key as soon as I paste enter key you can see that my fifth button has been clicked and command 5 is being written now let us click the code and instead of command 5 let us change this command 5 to command 4 now when I will press enter key what will happen the fourth button should automatically get clicked and on the page I should have command 4 written ok now let me go back and refresh this page and let me hit enter key now you can see that command 4 has been written because button 4 is being clicked by default ok so this is the way to specify the default button when uh, so that when user hits the enter key that button gets clicked the next how to is how to apply CSS style from the server side to the ASP uh, button control it's very simple the way we use uh, for the label control or the text box control in the same way we can do for this as well so let us do that we have here a button control simple button control whose text is button 1 and in the code behind in the page load event we have accessed the ID of this particular button and we have specified some uh, CSS style so for four color we have specified 
carry it blue for back color we have a specified white for border color we have a specified yellow green for border width we have a specified 15 and for border style we have a specified groom now if i will not have this these styles uh, written in the code behind then let us see that how this button looks like this button looks like very simple okay like a normal button but when when i will uncomment this code naturally all these css styles will get affected and my button will look like this now let's go to the uh, code, uh, source code of this particular page and we will see that whatever style we had set in the page load event all are getting set here as a css attribute css style attribute style color equal to carrot blue border color white border color uh, sorry background color white border color yellow green border width 15 pixel and border style as group so all those styles that i had mentioned into the page load event is getting applied into this button here as a css style so this was the way to basically you know apply css style from the code behind to the button control the next is uh, we will talk about the link button first let us see what is link button link button is is the variant of the asp button control except the fact that it appears as a hyperlink on the browser okay the 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 operation or the functionality that you can achieve using asp button normal button control you can do using is uh, asp link button control as well the only difference is in terms of the appearance the normal button control looks like this but uh, asp uh, link button control looks like a hyperlink okay and this control is mainly used when you want to give a hyperlink type of look and feel or you have too many buttons on the page and you are uh, struggling to manage them on the given space okay you have a you have very uh, minimal space on the page and you want to you know keep one button in order to uh, uh, perform some operations then you can instead of keeping a button that will look very heavy you can keep a link button control most of the properties and events works in the same way as it works for the button control so whatever uh, events and properties you have seen for the button control almost all properties and events are applicable for ASP link button control as well now let us see uh, some how to relate with the link button the first how to relate with the link button is how to fire a server side event on click on the link button okay so let me uh, copy paste the code again so here is my code of the ASPX page and my code behind is very simple so here is my code behind let me comment my previous code let me delete my previous code and let us examine the code so in the link button almost everything is similar except that on click event is submitted data and this submit data I have uh, defined here into the code behind file and I am writing uh, server side method executed on the page so let's uh, let's run this page in the browser so here is my submit link button you can see that my text is submit and when I will click it the and the submit data server side event will fire and that will basically write server side method executed on the page Okay, so this is the way to fire a server side method using the link button control the next how to relate with link button is how to post the page to another page on click of the link okay it is same as by specifying the post back URL okay if I have to post this page on another page we can simply specify post back URL okay so it functions almost in the same way it function in the case of normal ASP button so I'm not going to cover this one the next how to is how to fire client JavaScript function on click of ASP link button it is also similar to the normal button so in this case we need to specify on client click in, in almost similar way we had a specified for the button click so uh, let me show you one example here alert me and now I will have to define a JavaScript function 
and function alert me and this one alert okay and now let us return false so that the page will not get submitted okay so let us browse this page and here what I am trying to do is that I am trying to fire a, a JavaScript function so I am clicking it this is alert JavaScript function is firing and because return is false so that this page will not get submitted on the server 